Drab Majesty, Oxytocin, Guitar Lesson, and Guitar Tabs. I'll play through all the different sections at the start here, and afterwards I'll go back through, give you a little more explanation, tell you what's going on. Uh, before we dive into the lesson, please hit that subscription button. It gives me a clear signal, lets me know that you enjoy these types of videos and I should do some more. Alright, now let's get on into the song. Alright, so we'll start with the main riff here, and I know he's probably using maybe some alternate tuning, and I know he uses a uh, capo at the first fret a lot, but uh, I'm going to skip all that and just do it standard, no capo, and we'll start here. It's going to be in a C major 7 vibe here, kind of with a suspended and all that action, so really cool sounding stuff. You want a bunch of uh, chorus effect on there about like a 400, 450 millisecond delay. Sounds really nice. Okay, that type of deal. And we're gonna pick right through this C sharp major seven here with the four on the A, six on the D, come up, hit the four on the B, and then back to the five on the G. All right, now we'll just pick back down with the five on the G, and then we'll add a six on the B. Can you just repeat that twice? And then we move it down to just a B flat suspended second. So all the way down here, first fret on the A, we go first fret A, third on the uh, D, jump up, hit that first on the B. Okay. And at this point, I think whatever voicing he's in, he hits basically just an octave, almost the same octave. But uh, here we can just come back up low, hit that one on the A again. And then we come back up, hit the one on the B, one on the E. Okay, then we get this interlude riff over the top of everything. And come on up here with that. We go tens on the D and G, hit those together. And then come down, hit an eight on the B. Back to the 10 G. And then we go 898 eight on the B, back to the 10 G, hit the 9 B, come up, hit an 8 on the high E, 
walk it back with the 9B to 8, and then land on a couple of the 10s with the G and the D. The second part of that, after we do that twice, we just come on up here and just hit this high voicing of the uh, B flat sus2 with um, 15s on the D and G, and then you can just go ahead and bar some 13s on the B and E. But we'll hit those 15s on the D and G, come on up, hit that 13 on the high E, and then back to a 15 on a D. And then we pick through the 13 B, E, B. And hit a 15 G, 13 B, 15 G. So we're just really just going back and forth through this. And just do that a couple times as well. We can mimic the synth riff too, which sounds nice. Just a kind of a nice legato scale down here. And we go. 9 on the E to 8, 9B to 11, 10G, repeat that twice, and then we just shift slightly here, we go 8 on the E, 11, 9, 11B, land on 10 of the G. And for the outro riff, start here at the four on the B, and then we'll hit a six on the E. Come on up to eight E, and we go six B, hit the five G, all right, and then immediately just hit the uh, five G with the six B. All right, and after that, we can just take it up. We go eight on the D, 10G, 9B. Then just go between the 10 on the G, the 8 on the D, and the 10 on the G. And with this song, a little spot we don't get a ton of in Drab Majesty songs is distorted guitar going on, and it's just rocking out some power chords, so... Kind of a unique thing for these guys. Uh, we'll start here, basically just at the uh, D flat C sharp here at the 4A6 on the D and G. And this is just strumming away. And then we can do a quick slide up at the 6 and 8 for the E flat, and then up to the uh, 8 and 10 real quick for the F. Just has some quick little pickup notes into the B flat at the six on the E, eights on the A and D, and you just rock that out. 